Happy Wednesday. How you doing? Hey, I know how to get miracles. I know how to do it. Very few people know how to get a miracle. Jesus told us how to get miracles. So I do what he said. And I get miracles. I can get miracles for you. I do it all the time. Praise God. I'm going to show you how I do it. I will show you how I do miracles. Been doing it for decades. Do you need a miracle? Say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart, getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Great things are coming my way. Everything always works out for me. I am a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Pastor Jim is the ultimate pastor. For two reasons. I get results and I'm available. Now, I'm not the only person who can do this and who gets results. But I'm the only one who's available. This is the most unique ministry in the whole country. Because not only do I get results, but you can call me on the phone. Nobody needs to die of sickness and disease. I just saw on Facebook where a very prominent person, a singer, entertainer, Christian singer, was sick. So they were calling for prayer. Then they said he died. That shouldn't have happened. Where's all these people with faith? Right here. Right here. They didn't know enough to call me. That's awful. The one person on the phone who's available didn't get called. They put out a call for prayer. But that's people didn't put out a call for prayer when Jesus was around. They called him. And if he was here now, he would be using an iPhone 13 plus, 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 plus. He'd be on the phone all day long saying, your faith has healed you. He'd be telling people, your faith has healed you. You know what their faith would be? Their faith would be making the call. Their faith was going to Jesus. That was their faith. He used his faith to heal them. But their faith was just making the call. That's all you have to do. You make the call, I'll take care of the rest. That's all you have to do. And then be quiet. Then be quiet. No more fussing. Done deal. Amen. Hallelujah. Hey, make sure you call me today if there's anything you need. Anything at all. People call me about jobs. People call me about lost keys. People call me about all kinds of things. We make it happen. Court cases. They call me about court cases. They call me about everything. Glory to God, huh? Because I can do miracles. Miracles. I want to show you something about miracles. And make sure you call me when you do your offerings and donations today. Because I want to speak God's Word for word blessing over you. And let me tell you something, folks. Every time I do, it's a miracle. Because God's blessing comes upon you. He gave us the words to use. He said, this is how I want you to do it. So I do it exactly the way he said. And my obligation is to speak the blessing over you exactly the way he said. And then he said, I will bless them. So his obligation becomes to bless you. And God is faithful to his word. He is faithful. So that's a miracle in itself. Acts chapter 19. It says down here. 
it says verse 11. You can see, I've read this a few times. Why? Because I'm interested in miracles. Are you interested in miracles? You should be. A miracle can save your life. It says, and God did special miracles by the hands of Paul. God did miracles through Paul. And God did miracles through Stephen. And God did miracles through Peter. And God certainly did miracles through Jesus. God did miracles through Elijah and Elisha. Double portion Elisha had. God did miracles through these people. And why? Because they did what he said. They did what he said. God always does miracles through people. Now, here's something to know about miracles. God never does a miracle apart from somebody believing for it. Never. God never just decides to do a miracle. He never just, he is, people say, well, so-and-so needs a miracle. Well, I'll tell you what, so-and-so is not going to get a miracle unless somebody performs it. Because God gave us authority in the earth. So he can't just decide to do something. He always has to do something through people. Anytime something great happens, you know somebody made it happen. Now, people get miracles. Miracles happen all the time. But somebody made it happen. Somebody caused that miracle to happen. Sometimes you don't know who it is. And sometimes it doesn't matter who it is. As long as the person gets it. Amen. There's a lot of different ways to do it. But it always has to come through a person. I know how to get miracles. This is out of my miracle book. I wrote the book on miracles. I've been doing this for decades. I was doing miracles. I did it. I did my first, performed my first miracle three weeks after I got saved and filled with the Holy Spirit. God anointed me for miracles. He anointed me with the gift of healing, the gift of miracles, and the gift of faith. And things started to happen. And it happened so much that we got kicked out of the church that we were in because the pastor said I was attracting too much attention. Well, hello, miracles attract attention. He, he also... In, in his church, half the people were there because I brought them there. I was an evangelist who was performing miracles all over town. I mean, people were coming up to Tomahawk, uh, Wisconsin. People were coming all the way from Milwaukee. A lady was told about it. She was scheduled for open heart surgery. She said, and, and this guy who she knew up there, he, he, she was talking to him on the phone. He said, don't, don't. Don't have your surgery before you come up. Come up there. This guy will pray for you. She came up. She got a miracle. Then they took us to somebody's house. They took us to somebody's house for a, a little get together. Mary and I were wondering what we were doing there. And then this guy who had brought us there, he said, the reason I brought you here is because my niece's Son has a defective heart, and the doctor said he can't live. He's four years old. Oh, so they brought him. I got down on my knees on the floor, and that little boy came right up to me. He came right up to me, and I put my hand on his chest. I said, in the name of Jesus, I command a new heart to be in your chest. And I put my hand on his chest. Took my hand off him. I said, you're all set. He turned around and ran off. 
That's all there was to it. Two weeks later, these people show up at church. We had a little church by this time because we didn't have anybody place else to go to church. We had to start our own church. That's how I got into ministry was because I didn't have any other place to go to church. And so these people showed up and they all showed up. The whole family showed up. The doctor said his heart was perfect. Now, whether he got a new heart or he got his heart fixed, I don't know. And I don't really care. All I know is they got their little boy back. Praise God. I know how to do miracles. Right here in the introduction. I can get miracles for myself and for other people. Actually, I know three different ways to get a miracle. The truth of the matter is I can get a miracle for anybody. All they have to do is come to me or call me. I can get a miracle for them. They brought a lady to our church from over by Orlando, full of cancer, full of cancer. She got healed. We got a report a couple of months later. The person, <clears throat> the person who brought her said that she had been to the doctor and she was totally free of cancer. Praise God. We got, we got a miracle for her. I mean, we do this all the time. Somebody from our church called one, one night. She called at night and she says, can you come up to the hospital? She said, these people I know, uh, their son is brain dead. We went up to the hospital. He had a tube coming out of the top of his head, sucking out this bloody fluid. Oh my goodness, it was just awful. He was brain dead. Doctors wanted to disconnect him. They wouldn't. They wouldn't disconnect him because they knew I was coming. I said, who's in charge? They said, that's his mother. She didn't even speak English. Somebody had to interpret for her. So I went over to her and I said, what do you want? And they asked her. And she said, I want my son. I said, okay. Somebody has to be in charge. I went over. I commanded the demon to come out of his head. And I broke the curse. And I put my hand on him and I said, be healed. I command this brain to start working in the name of Jesus. We left. That night, his brain started to work. It got better and better and better. And a couple of weeks, well, a week or so, I don't know how long it was. I don't know what the time frame was. But he went to rehab. His brain kept getting better, kept getting better, kept getting better. And now the last I heard, he's living a perfectly normal life. They got a miracle. Why? Because God performed a miracle for him through me. Through, now I've had miracles. I've had miracles myself, which were performed by other people, by somebody else. God picked out a lady one time to perform a miracle that I needed, a miracle healing. I needed a miracle healing. I got one, but God picked out somebody to do it through. He told me who it was. He said, have her pray for you and I'll heal you. He didn't just heal me. He had it go through somebody. He picked out a person. I went to her and I said, I have a kidney stone. I need pray for She put her hand on me. She said, no, anyway, Jesus, you come out of him right now. And boom, there it was. I mean, right now. God picked her out to do a miracle for me. And I got my miracle. I don't care how it happens. When I need something, I don't care whose faith I have to use to get it. Amen? If I don't have the faith, I'm going to find somebody who does. And that's what people do. They find me and my faith. Amen? In order to get a miracle, somebody must perform it. That would be me. Call me. I know how to get miracles. I'll get one for you. Make sure you call me today. Uh, if you need prayer, make sure you call me when you do your offerings and donations. And please share this video with everybody you know.